climate and weather. Introduction In simple words, the word climate means the general sort of weather conditions that are to be found in an area or in a particular region. It is the average weather conditions or the pattern of weather conditions of that place. Climate and weather are interrelated conditions prevailing in the atmosphere, that is, rain, clouds, sunshine, and wind. Their day to day changes make up the weather. Now, weather of a place may change from day to day or even from hour to hour. Climate tells us what it is usually like in a place round the year. It is a more general term, such as hot, cold, or rainy, whereas the weather would change from time to time within the overall description of climate. Factors affecting climatic conditions of any place. The climatic conditions of any place in the world vary and are dependent upon 1. Distance from the sea or high mountain ranges. Places near the sea have a moderate climate, that is, neither too hot nor too cold. Mountain ranges in an area generally affect the rainfall and winds and hence the climate of that area. For example, the climate in Darjeeling is cold, while that in Mumbai is warm and humid and hot and dry in Jaisalmer. 2. Height of an area above sea level The higher we go above sea level, the cooler the climate becomes. Three. Winds blowing towards or from the sea affect the climate. Thus, climate is affected by hot or cold and humid or dry winds. 4. Humidity or the amount of moisture in the air also affects the climate. High humidity makes the climate hot and humid. 5. The distance of a region from the equator is also a very important factor that affects the climate of the region. Climatic Adaptation 1. What is climatic adaptation? The climate and soil are the two major environmental factors that determine and affect the flora and fauna of that area. Moderate climate is quite easy to bear, but difficulties arise when living things have to survive extremely hot or cold climates. Animals are capable of surviving almost all climates because they have many ways of adapting to extreme temperatures. If they are not fully equipped to do so, they migrate either within the region or even far beyond. Example, the Arctic Tern. Adaptations of animals to cold climates. Adaptations to extremely cold climate. Reptiles like snakes, lizards, etc. keep their bodies warm by absorbing solar radiation during the day and seek shelter at night to maintain their body temperatures at safe levels. Birds like crows, parrots, etc. have feathery coat on their bodies to protect them from cold. Some birds also migrate to warmer climates during extreme cold conditions. Example, Siberian cranes migrate to tropical countries during winter season. Sea animals, like seals, have a thick layer of fat, called blubber, under the skin 
that helps to keep them warm in cold climates. Animals like polar bears have dense fur coats on their bodies that trap the air. This acts as a layer of insulation to keep them warm. Polar bears are found near the poles, the areas that remain covered with snow throughout the year. As the North Pole shrinks due to global warming, the ice in the area declines. Polar bears are also declining in numbers. Penguins huddle together to keep warm and protect themselves from extremely cold conditions. Adaptations of Mammals to Cold Climates Mammals have adapted themselves to withstand cold climate by reducing the heat loss from their bodies. This can be done by 1. As heat is lost through the body surface, the smaller the surface area, compared to the volume of the body, the less is the heat lost. Thus, animals living in cold climates are usually much larger than members of the same species living in warmer climates, so they reduce their body surface. Example, polar bear. 2. Animals in cold climates have small ears, tail and short legs. As the extreme portions of the body like ears, tail, and feet, paws, or hooves lose heat first. 3. Some mammals restrict their bodily activities to the minimum to reduce heat loss. Animals like the dormouse hibernate, which is the long winter sleep, during the winter months to avoid heat loss, so they reduce their body surface, that is, evade the cold. Adaptations of Mammals to Hot Climates Opposite of the adaptations to cold climate are used by animals to keep themselves cool in hot summers. 1. As it is extremely hot during the day, animals living in warm climates spend most of the day hours hiding in their shelters or shady places like burrows, behind large rocks, etc. These animals come out at night in search of food. The extremely hot climate has forced them to become nocturnal feeders. This has its effect on their predators, which also hunt by night. Example, owls and tigers. 2. Animals living in warm climates have long legs tails, and very large ears. Example, the fennec fox. A desert animal has very large ears. The ears have blood vessels near the surface. The air blowing across the ears cools the blood, which in turn cools the body. 3. Animals sweat pant and lick their bodies to cool themselves. Sweat and saliva cool their bodies by evaporation. Water is usually scarce in warm or hot countries. Under such extreme conditions, these adaptations also prevent or retard loss of water by evaporation.